Okay, yes, now you can start the presentation. So, hello everyone. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, today we are uh, going to make presentation on uh, Gun Island, a uh, novel by Amitav Khosh. And uh, this group task was uh, assigned by uh, Bharat Sir. These are the uh, members of uh, the group task. Jignesh, Latta, Chandni, Kishan and Bhavyan. For the brief information about table content, I would like to call Jignesh. Yes, uh, so today we are going to uh, discuss about uh, about the author, key facts, uh, characters, summary, themes, uh, title of the novel, uh, narrative technique, review of author, critics view, and uh, learning outcome. And uh, these are the, our uh, topics that we uh, we will uh, going to discuss about. Uh, so um, first, uh, I would like to request to uh, Lata, please share the screen. Next slide. So um, here is uh, uh, the author of the novel Amitav Ghosh. So let's, uh, we will see the biography of Amitav Ghosh. Next slide. So he was uh, born in 11th July, 1956 uh, at, the 60, as, uh, at age uh, 65 in Kolkata, West, uh, West Bengal, India. And uh, grew up in India, Bangladesh and uh, Sri Lanka. And he was studied from the Delhi, Oxford, and uh, Alexandria. And uh, his occupation is uh, as a writer. And uh, 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 as a, uh, he has a nationality of Indian. And uh, uh, not uh, he got uh, many notable awards like Agnan Pitt Award, Sahitya Academy Award, Ananda Puraskar, Dan uh, David Fries, and uh, uh, Padma Sri. Next. And uh, these are the famous uh, work by Amitav Ghosh, uh, The Glass of Pal Palace, a River of uh, Smoke, uh, The Calcutta Chromsum, uh, Sea of uh, Poppies, uh, The Circle of Reason, uh, Shadow of Lines uh, in an Antique Land, and uh, The Great uh, Derangement. These are the famous work by Amitav Ghosh. And here uh, is uh, one of the quotes by Amitav Ghosh. The government uh, to you is uh, what God is agnostics uh, only to be involved when your own well-being is at uh, stake. Next slide. And uh, here is a, a reference uh, of the Amitav, Amitav course biography. And um, let's uh, we will see the some key facts uh, about the novel. Next slide. So the title is Gun Island, and um, the author is Amitav Ghosh. Uh, it has published in 2019, and uh, the literary period is uh, contemporary, and um, also genre is a uh, historical fiction, and um, um, it has a first person narration, and um, it has a uh, 20 uh, 289 pages. Next slide. And um, let's we will see the some uh, major and minor characters. Next slide. Yes, you can continue, Jignesh. Yeah, we have electricity problem here, but you can continue. Okay, okay sir. So, okay, sir. Uh, we have a uh, five major characters uh, like uh, Din, uh, uh, Kinta, Pia, and uh, Rafi and uh, Tipu. So, let's uh, we will uh, see one by one. So first character is the Din. Uh, so Din, uh, Din is the first uh, 
is a is a famous uh, character of, of the novel and uh, the uh, mild uh, manner dinanath datta uh, akka din a dealer of rare books who lives and makes uh, his living in brooklyn and my din's uh, placid uh, middle aged life is uh, mostly occupied by books academic meetings worrying about his uh, finance and trips uh, to the thera- therapist to figure out uh, why he can't form a stable romantic uh, relationship every winter din travels to his child home in kolkata where his parents uh, had come as a refugees from east bengal after the partition of uh, india to avoid the bitter cold of north america during one such uh, visit to the city he is thrown into a maelstrom of unexpected events uh, that uh, spiral out on path that is a uh, both uh, bewildering and uh, at times uh, terrifying it begins with a visit to the uh, Sun- sundarban at the request of a family member as uh, also by din's uh, scholarly interest in uh, 17th century uh, srin associated with uh, ancient bengali folklore about a seafaring uh, seafaring merchant known as a bandukri uh, sodagar means gun merchant and his power uh, struggle with mansa devi the hindu deity of snakes uh, and uh, venomous uh, creatures uh, the senior senior that unfolds from there is a rife with uh, accidents uh, coincidence coincidence natural disaster uh, feverish uh, dreams uh, irrefigration uh, trips across the the contents contents by the novels uh, character come with the official Uh, travel papers and others uh, without this so this was about uh, the dean let's uh, we will see about the pia uh, she is an uh, american girl who is uh, researching on dolphin she suggests to dean to visit uh, nilima nilima nilima's house she is uh, kind uh, kind hearted while researching uh, one of her helpers Uh, died so uh, so she took uh, all the responsibility of his uh, 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 of his son tipu she had uh, gifted tipu laptops tablets the latest phone games consoles music system and uh, when uh, when tipu complained that he was often unable to uh, use his gadgets because of uh, uh, because of power cuts apia has a uh, paid Uh, paid uh, pia has uh, paid to uh, nilima their house uh, solarized she is living with her nilima boss she helps moina in her life she has an attachment with the dolphin and uh, she loves to do her uh, research uh, she is a member of trust uh, uh, in sundarban it is a uh, working against the refinery because the re- uh, refinery is polluting the river and uh, our uh, third major character is uh, pia li roy means uh, uh, pia uh, uh, and our uh, uh, and our last uh, third character is kinta um, and she is one of the researcher who is uh, doing research the history of italy after the death of her husband that uh, she used to go to the library at that time she met din after they become uh, good friends and after and both her plan to visit the library in kolkata she was uh, mentally disturbed because her husband uh, gia kamo and her daughter lucia died due to an accident she has a kind of mentally that her daughter is still alive she often talks with her daughter but it is her hello uh, hallucination uh, hallucination she died at the end of the novel and our third major character is one second and our third major character is uh, uh, tipu means uh, tutul when uh, tipu reached uh, uh, 13 uh, was old enough for high school p had taken him with her to the small university town in oregon where she lived and work uh, work being often left to fend for himself the boy had fallen in within the wrong crowd and had even had a couple of brushes with the police after returning from america his clothes his manner his hair were changed even 
he changed his name uh, to 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 tipu he is uh, helping people who want to migrate and he makes uh, all the necessary connection for migration while saving din he was bitten by cobra snake uh, after that event he started discovering the story of mansa devi with rafi but they were uh, separate from the border of border of turkey at the end of the novel tipu comes in the boat with the uh, all migrants and our last and major character is uh, rafi uh is one of the caretaker uh, caretaker of shrin grandson of Ma- uh, maji and uh, migration to venice uh, uh, so let's we will see further about uh, rafi rafi was a caretaker at the shrin uh, his uh, grandfather gave him the name ilias but only he knows about he know, he only knows about it he was a poor uneducated man but no how to use a cell phone he uh, saves people's life Pia has uh, suspected that Tipu and Rafi started the journey for Venice, but separate from the border of Turkey. After that, he came to the uh, Venice and started collecting uh, collecting money for Tipu because he wants to take uh, Tipu with him and uh, give that money to the connection man. He was uh, beaten by uh, two unknown people because of uh, money. Next slide. And. Uh, and uh, these are the our my, uh, minor characters next slide and uh, my uh, these are the minor characters uh, kanai is a friend of din uh, nilima boss aunt of kanai moina is a ps friend and helping her on research oren naskar uh, is one of the boatmen Durga is a lover of Dean. Uh, Lisa, Pia's uh, roommate of college, Giz- uh, Gisela, niece of uh, Kinta, Ima, Ima, Ima Gisel, uh, Gisela's uh, partner, uh, Lubna Khala, lady from Bangladesh, uh, Muni, husband of uh, Lubna, and Bilal, Bilal is working under Lubna and roommate of uh, Rafi. And further, next slide. Maji uh, is a Muslim man, a caretaker of Srin. Lucia is daughter of Kinta. Uh, Alice uh, is uh, Kinta's uh, mother. Uh, Fazlul Hobu Choudhury uh, working under uh, Lubna Khala. And um, Larry is a uh, research on uh, spider. Marco is uh, one of the watchmen. Uh, and Sandro Di Vigno is an admiral in Europe. Next slide. And um, uh, we have some mythical characters character like uh, Mansa Devi is a goddess of snake, a uh, gun merchant uh, is one of the atheist, uh, atheist person, and Ilias is a captain of a uh, ship, and Ambrosia Bambo is one of the traveler. Next slide. And um, here is a summary of the novel. For that, I would like to call Lata Baraya. Please come on the stage and Uh, first of all, I would like to share my screen. whole novel is uh, divided into two parts. Uh, the uh, first part was about the gun merchant and the second part was about uh, Venice. So in the uh, first part, we see Dean is a rare book dealer who lives and works in New York. Born in Calcutta, he, come, uh, he came every year in winter. Once Dean h- heard about the temple of Mansa Devi in the jungle of Sundarban from his friend Kanai. Mansa Devi is the goddess of snakes and all animal creatures. She is an interesting figure in the folklore of Bengal. She wants to uh, she wants the merchant to be her devotee, but the mer- uh, merchant resists. So she per- uh, she pursue him with snakes, calamities, terrible storms, droughts, and volcano disaster. The merchant is kept abroad. Even there, she per- pursue him. Uh, in the end. Uh, he returns to Bengal and builds a temple for her. Dean uh, uh, hears 
this uh, this story and decided to visit uh, the temple he goes with tipu uh, tipu is very good with dealing with technology and horen horen uh, was a botman they all reached to the temple where uh, horen told uh, din about rafi a caretaker of the shrine din uh, wants to meet uh, uh, rafi and for that uh, tipu and uh, horen goes to find him uh but uh, then we find that din uh, meet uh, rafi in the, uh, in this shrine uh, while uh, din tries to understand the symbols which are uh, drawn on the wall of shrine rafi gives him information about the symbols but they are talking like that uh, there is no connection between these symbols and uh, the uh, mythical story about gun merchant uh, at that time they face a king cobra and it beats tipu uh when uh, tipu was beaten by king cobra rafi help help him and uh, sucks on the wound uh, then they all went to the hospital in uci bari then already uh, they or inform pia so pia arrange all the medicines for tipu uh, while going to hospital tipu mumbled something like uh, rani and uh, like do inform pia din ask uh, pia about rani and uh, pia tells him that uh, it, it the name of dolphin and uh, she received a notification that uh, rani is in danger uh, with the help of gps he finds the do uh, dolphin dead at garjantola during this way pia told din about the chemical fertilizer and its effect on uh, fishes and about dead zone that harms fishes and uh, any uh, any uh, many creatures in the sea and because of this reason fishes have to change uh, their place often Dean uh, come back to the Brooklyn, uh, but he is not able to focus on his work. He often talks with Pia and Tipu. Once he was invited to talk by his friend uh, Chinta. The debate was about history and literature and the end of the earth. He has to go to Los Angeles, but uh, there was wildfire in uh, Los Angeles. During this time, Chinta said to Dean that uh, the story of gun merchant is not a myth, but uh, it's history. and that everything has happened uh, in real uh, <clears throat> chinta said that uh, it may be reference to venice not guns in gun merchant's name but dean uh, doesn't believe it and uh, for that pin uh, the chinta uh, told him that uh, visit the venice uh, so you can get uh, you can connect the, uh, these things but uh, dean uh, uh, was not uh, 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 believe to uh, go there but uh, after uh, uh, part 1 uh, uh, part 1 end with it and the second part start and we come to know that uh, dean is in venice for his job as a translator for giza giza is a uh, uh, giza is a, um, a small director who make documentary on migrants so kinta suggests that uh, dean is uh, helpful uh, to her for translate uh, translating the things so giza um, uh, hired uh, dean for a uh, translator and uh, dean is for there in venice uh, where he meets rafi and come to know about many migrants working in venice he meets lubna khala a bengali uh, lady and uh, Bangladeshi lady uh, who is the leader of all migrant workers once pia tells uh, dean that tipu is missing and uh, there is no news about him for a long time and many migrants are headed there uh, europe in europe and they are not permitted to go into the city and they all are in a blue boat and uh, lubna khala uh, will go to see them and to help them Uh, and uh, dean and uh, chinta often uh, talk about uh, climate change and uh, global uh, warming and they also talked about the end of earth they had a conversation about the plague in uh, 1629 and uh, the mythical story that one goddess uh, saved all of them from this disease dean and uh, chinta with, uh, visits many places and uh, they visit uh, the search that uh, Santa Maria del Salute, and uh, from there they visit an old custom house, and uh, further they went to see one embankment. But uh, then they suffered from flood, and uh, Chinta injured badly. 
and uh, they were sent to the hospital when uh, the hospital uh, uh, dean sees that in the hospital uh, he meets rafi and uh, he also asked him about tipu because they were a uh, very close friend and rafi then tells him a story about how they gathered money to give dalal because they want to come to venice and they have to um, give money to that connection man and he tells him that how migrants are sent to other countries with the help of connection men and uh, they were treated like animals during that time he and tipu started their journey together but they are separated from the border of uh, iran turkey and tipu also connected uh, him and uh, they were planning to meet in venice but then uh, he couldn't contact uh, tipu Rafi knows that he is in the blue boat that is uh, crowded with refugees. After listening to this, uh, Dean called Lubna Khala and uh, asked to join because uh, Lubna Khala, Lubna Khala is going to meet them, uh, meet uh, these old uh, refugees. So Dean uh, asked Lubna Khala to join them, and uh, she also permitted them. Uh, Disa arranged all these things for them to go there at uh, Margera end. Uh, from there, they will go in the ship that Lubna and her fellow activists hired. Uh, day before, uh, Dean had a uh, faced flood and he and uh, Chinta was injured. The next day, Dean faced a uh, hailstorm and after Chinta and Rafi joined him, they all meet Lubna, Pila, uh, Pia and Palash. They all are going in the bus and uh, uh, that time they face heavy rain. Uh, after heavy rain, uh, they faced very heavy wind and actually it's a tornado, but uh, uh, they, uh, but they, uh, they all are saved from uh, this and uh, they passes all these things and finally reach the ship. Uh, they, uh, they are now waiting for a blue boat and, and there are many people who are talking about migrants. Other boats came to resist and the slogan were spoken by them against migrants. And other members in the ship are very happy because they are going to meet uh, uh, their friends or family members in, uh, in, uh, who are in the blue boat. And we see the dolphins circling around the blue boat ship and birds are also circling in the sky. And the boat arrived and they all meet each other and uh, at the end, uh, Jinta has died uh, and the novel was ended uh, in, uh, with his death. And further, uh, for a uh, uh, discussion of title of the novel, I would like to call Chandni. Okay, so title of the novel, uh, we can see the conversation between Rafi to Dean. That Rafi told uh, uh, Dean that uh, one island is the island within the island and here is the symbol of the island within island and uh, Kinta told the story that Venice was known as Bandia so Dean connect it with the Gun Island and another uh, conversation between uh, Dean told uh, Kinta about the story of uh, Gun Island and Shrine after listening Kinta said that it may be reference of Venice not guns in gun merchant's name and, and we can see the reference of uh, uh, first uh, first chapter that uh, uh, Amita was told that uh, about uh, gun means and uh, after he uh, told that uh, gun uh, gun island may, uh, in the gun island uh, not to refer to gun so we can uh, read that uh, the strangest thing about uh, this strange uh, journey was that it was launched by a word and not in unusually resonant one either but a banner common uh, commonplace uh, coinage that uh, that is in wide circulation from the cairo to calcutta that word is bandhu which means ban, uh, which means gun is many language including my own uh, mother tongue bengali or bangla uh, nor is the word a stranger to English by way of British uh, colonial usage uh, in uh, found its way into the Oxford English Dictionary where it is glossed a rifle. 
but there was no rifle or gun inside the day of journey began nor indeed was uh, uh, was the word intended to refer to a weapon and that precisely uh, was why it caught my attention because the gun is question was a part of a name banduki banduki sadgar which could be translated in the gun merchant so here uh, he referred to refer that uh, gun, uh, gun not mean uh, gun means not a banduk or rifle but gun means uh, the uh, banduk banduki sadgar so he is uh, the title Okay, so good afternoon, everybody. Uh, in continuation with yesterday's uh, presentation given by students uh, as a part of an introduction to uh, a novel by Amitav Ghosh, uh, Gun Islands. Uh, today uh, we continue that, and uh, now we will have <coughs> a presentation on uh, themes, themes in uh, the Gun Island. Yes, yes. So now you can start. Okay, so first we can start with uh, themes. First theme is meat. So Dean believes that the meat because in his life in reality he saw an enormous king cobra which is believed to be uh, the mansa devi encountered by the gun merchant too when he visited the very shrine mansa devi hunts him in his dream uh, it is the myth of mansa devi chasing a gun merchant for his ill doings in gun island the Uh, serpent goddess followed by uh, followed the uh, gun merchant as a sea serpent all the way of uh, all the way to venice wanna he hunted him at various places and at last gave him freedom for a shrine built up in a return then explored the historical truth behind the myth and he encounter encounter similar kind of uh, venomous creatures like yellow billed snake and particularly a poisonous spider which gave him the answer to the uh, riddle of a uh, mystified symbol of circles with uh, symmetrical lines carved in the shrine of mansa devi along with kinta and dean encountering a species of giant squid again whose story is connected to the gun merchant that the piece has been inspired by an old venetian legend about a monster tipu the swamp dweller who fascinates the western culture acquires vision after a gigantic king cobra uh, bites him in the shrine where dean goes on uh, scrutinizing uh, the secret behind the myth of the snake goddess mansa devi rafi another islander of the gun merchant Vamp, knowing some secret about the myth, which his grandfather had always told him, whispers to Dean as 
it was right behind you it would was raised and its head was above your shoulders i leave it alone too it keeps other snakes and animals away you must have disturbed it when you went in uh, this spot is uh, in gun island page number 176 uh, another uh, theme is uh, about technology so in the pay, uh, novel page number 91 have reference is technology that moina nilima talk about pia's home there in the kitchen there were two large refrigerator like almost everything in the building they ran on solar power one of refrigerator was especially stocked uh, stocked for pia who i soon discovered subsisted uh, on a very idiosyncratic diet consisting mainly of energy bars and peanut butter and jelly sandwiches another reference of technology is that when dean meets the teenage tipu for the first time he is old and i think a little bit afraid of the boy's facility with computers his ability to access seemingly any data he wants its reversal of uh, the boy meets all wizard prop uh, tipu even say the internet is a mi uh, migrant's magic carpet next uh, theme is the refugee crisis so in this climate related environmental strife and disaster in the sundarban area in the uh, spinning core of gun island from which character like tipu rafi or even the gun merchant in another time are hauled outward in, into other stories by the violent centrifugal forces of the climate force and disaster however the because however and because climate change no uh, knows no boundaries and can spring surprise and violent retribution at the place of the of its choosing and also because stories connect with stories riding microscopic uh, filaments of uh, probability and chance uh, the character of gun island finds out how an angry plan, uh, planet cities Uh, stitches them together in the present as it had in the past when the gun merchant was running away from the wrathful goddess uh, climate change starting in the sundarbans in gun island amita ghosh makes a spirited uh, foray uh, into the world of climate fiction a category which has received scant attention from the writers especially in our part of the world a region which for economic and other reasons in vulnerable and uh, will be disproportionately uh, uh, affected by the unfolding climate disaster the story of uh, legendary trader uh, dean finds has many parallels with uh, the bengali verse epics about jansagar and mansa the hindu folk goddess of snakes who is also central of the gun merchant story he learns that the gun merchant has a dham or shrine in sundarban the megro covered detail of south bengal this is the video of uh, miss uh, uh, miss world talk about climate change okay another theme is migration gun island explore different forms uh, of migration starting from people to entire communities being uh, uprooted from their native land to the uh, drastic change recently prevalent in the migratory patterns of the different species Uh, Ghosh gives many instances uh, of a climate related uh, catastrophes being introduced uh, on such migration he talk uh, in detail about the cyclone alia hit the sundarban in 2009 alia long term uh, consequences were even more devastating than those of earlier cyclones hundreds of miles 
of embankment had had been uh, swept away and the sea had invented place where it uh, it had never entered before vast tract, uh, tracts of once fertile uh, land had been swamped by salt water rendering them un uncultivated uh, uncultivable for the generation if not forever Na uh, next is migration of animals and birds in the gun island page number 214 uh, uh, ghosh written uh, about animals and bird migration that you know temperatures are rising around the world because of global warming this means that the habitats of various kind of animals are also changing the brown recluse soldier is extending its range into places where it wasn't found before like this part of italy sir we are presenting you again next is uh, ecopatriotism amita ghosh most recent novel of the gun island has nature and climate change as its primary themes and therefore ecopatriotism and its offshoots are relevant of uh, relevant to the discussion of the afroid said novel the gun island is probably an answer to the question that he had raised in his uh, not non fiction the great derangement framing from discussing issues related to climate change the gun island explore the impact of climate change in various parts of the globe in india where almost every hamlet has its own stories around sacred group it does not come as a surprise that ghosh built a story around the snake goddess mansa devi who imbues imbues the na uh, narrative from the beginning till the end next and last theme is colonialism and uh, climate refugees uh, reading the book with the answerness of colonial colonialism and climate refugee makes a pretty obvious but ghosh makes a clear statement about the theme through a bengali immigrant dean meets named plash but everyone has a dream don't they and what is a dream but a fantasy think all think of all the people who come to van come to see venice what's brought theme there but a fantasy they uh, they think they have traveled to the heart of italy to a place where they all experience italian history and eat authentic uh, italian food do they know that all of this is made possible by people like me that is uh, that it is uh, we who are cooking their food food and washing their plates and making their beds do they understand that no italian does that uh, kind of work anymore that it's we uh, we who uh, make who are following this fantasy even as it consume us and why not every human being has a right to a fantasy don't they it is one of the most important human rights it is what makes our uh, makes us different for any from animals haven't you seen how every time you look at a, uh, at your phone 
or a TV screen. There is always an ad uh, telling you that you should do whatever you want. They that you should chase your dream. That impossible is nothing. Just do it. What else do this message mean but that you should try to live your dream? And uh, for, for further discussion about the narrative technique, I would like to call Kishan. Please come on the screen. So in uh, Amita Uko's uh, works narrative technique, uh, in his novel Amita Uko uh, employs a uh, new narrative uh, techniques. Uh, he writes his novel uh, in the first person and uh, creates a narrator who for all his uh, enormity comes across as if uh, he is the person looking at uh, you quietly from across the table by the time the storytelling is over and silence. Uh, discount. Yeah, in the narrative techniques of the Gun Island, the Gun Island is a beautiful realized novel that uh, effortlessly spends uh, space and time. Uh, it is the story of a world on the brink of increasing displacement and on unstoppable uh, transition. But it is also a story of hope and the future is restored by two remarkable women. Uh, Amitav Ghosh's uh, new novel, Gun Island, expresses uh, many of the writers' uh, recurring motifs, uh, Iravedi uh, Dolphins, the Sundarbans, uh, climate change. But uh, at the heart of the novel is the theme of illegal migration and uh, refugee crisis, uh, displacement and uh, renewal. Amitav Ghosh's novel, uh, Gun Island, is as much uh, as an etymological mystery as a compelling study of uh, illegal migration, a uh, derivation point of the deep and civilization over the edges. Koish uh, bright with uh, deep intelligence and uh, illuminating uh, electricity about a uh, complex issue. Uh, uh, so this ambitions novel uh, memorably draws a connection among history, political, and uh, mythology. Uh, ghost story uh, involving and uh, in intricate speak urgently to a time growing ever more uh, prejudiced, uh, tender, attentive, and uh, engaging account of the ways in which uh, an individual sensibility uh, might be altered by uh, ironies of the history, uh, chance uh, alliances, and uh, climatological. So, Gun Island is a rich and a rewarding novel that uh, reaffirms the transformative power of uh, topographical and human connection and uh, register the rhythm of the quiet and unquiet life. So, now I would like to uh, call uh, Bhaviyang, please continue uh, this presentation and uh, he give uh, some critic uh, review. Okay, so now we will see about a review of author. Uh, so, uh, we will see the era of climate in fiction. Amita Ghosh and Nathaniel Rich conversation. Next slide. Uh, so, Amita Ghosh view on um, a climate change. So, we will see that what Amita Ghosh think about a climate change. So, he says that uh, for me, climate change is not something discrete. It is not something that uh, has happened only within the last 30 years. It is something which has a very long history, which reaches very deep into our past. Um, it is within the context that I think of it and it is and it is within the context that these stories come to me. That, uh, next slide. Uh, in uh, now we will see that what uh, important aspect of fiction uh, he believes. Uh, so he tells that if we look at uh, the realities of the world we live in today, it is really impossible to write about a setting in quite the same way we used to because um, because one thing the setting have completely changed population have changed geography have changed and more the point we live at a time when it is not just people moving but entire ecosystem next slide so now we will see what amita goes think about um after writing gun island so he th uh, he tells that I think it is impossible in terms of any kind of literary approach in this moment um, in time to despise with, with the uncanny. We have to embrace the uncanny. The uncanny defines exactly this moment. I have experienced this myself uh, with the writing of this book. 
there is a chapter in the book uh, that uh, that is uh, set in the Los Angeles with a fire advancing towards a museum. This is actually happened. You uh, you may have read last year that there was a fire advancing towards the Getty Museum. But as it happened, I wrote this. Uh, I wrote that chapter several months before the fire. It was so weird uh, to see that happening. To read uh, to read about. Uh, it to watch coverage of it on television because I have already seen it happening in my head and in the same way I write about a big uh, hellstorm in Venice and I am uh, and I am told that these also happen in the last few months uh, the uncannies of the world for all of us who are writing about the event it is uh, it, it, it is constantly initiated isn't it uh, now we will see that what uh, Amita Ghosh think about a literary convention. So uh, he tells that yes, I did feel that. I also felt that for many convention uh, readers, uh, the book will be strange, uh, simplify because so much of it, uh, it is about a very grounded but largely unseen realities uh, of the issue. An issue the book deal with uh, uh, its Mediterranean migration crisis. I spent quite a long time in Italy traveling to refugees camp, migration camp, and interviewing people, talking to them about their understanding of what was going on in, on in the world. They have very sophisticated understanding of the world at large. Next slide. So now he tells the uh, now he uh, he, uh, he talks about the legend that is in the center uh, to the plot. So Amita Ghosh tells that um, yes, it is very much an uh, actual legend uh, that is uh, that is a very ancient legend going back uh, millennia, probably rooted in the culture of the indigenous people of Eastern India. The legend has two major figures. One is the uh, one is the go uh, goddess of snake, who is known as Mansha Devi, and the other is a figure called Merchant, uh, Ch uh, Chand Sadagar. And uh, now we'll see the collective experience. That, um, so um, in the novel um, are about a character. You cannot, uh, you cannot have uh, 100 character. I mean, you could, but that would make it difficult for the reader. The challenge lies in the question of how to focus on only a few characters while consuming a behind each character a flanks of other. Uh, if I am able to do that at all in the uh, in this book, uh, it is because of the other book that I have written. Now we will um, now we will see about the cr uh, critics' view that what critic uh, think about Gun Island. Uh, so first we will see that what uh, Dr. Panchal uh, says about a Gun Island that um, Gun Island is not a fiction but a prediction. So uh, he says that many authors have started writing on this uh, topic of global warming and destruction of, uh, destruction of environment uh, since it was not addressed and given place in the, in the literature. Amita Ghosh has continuously raised a voice and uh, has been writing on it in his novel. In his recent novel, Gun Island, he wrote a uh, predicted on the wildfire in Los Angeles, a uh, sprawling uh, Southern California city. The, uh, the, um, the wildfire uh, not only shocked the world, but Amita Ghosh also. He forecast in the novel because the, real, um, uh, because the reality now. And then he also tells that uh, he even mentioned uh, the process of climate change has already begun, but um, but nowhere um, has he mentioned the solution on it. Uh, now it is the reader's responsibility to act wisely. When Amita Ghosh heard uh, the wildfire, he was shocked. He did not think uh, this will happen so soon. Uh, he started writing on this novel in 2016. And he published this on 2019 and immediately in November 2019, the novel was witnessed. The prediction came true. Uh, he has been uh, writing on climate change for more than 20 years. In an interview, when he was, he was asked to uh, comment on California wildfire, he said uh, the threat of climate change is real and it is invest uh, and 
it is investifying uh, through he focused on the problem climate change he did not mention and give the solution of a uh, solution to the world i think as as a writer i can only write or show you what is happening and what i will not the world leader uh, world leaders uh, should take a conscious and act, uh, conscious and act accordingly uh, now we will see that what uh, francis think about a uh, gun island that uh, um it uh, a tale of a myth migration and a uh, climate change so uh, gun island uh, present an interwoven plot which connect a human and animal past and present nature and supernature it's explore how the notion of uh, um, interconnectedness manifest itself in each of these element gun island project uh, um uh, unpredict unpredicted climate condition as a primary cause of the of this nature disaster um, it uh, it beco it becomes a cla um, clarion call for climate in uh, induces migration as it uh, skillfully portrays people and entire community being uprooted from the uh, from their native land and the drastic change in the in the migratory pattern of the different uh, species due to changing a uh, climate and warming um, and warming water gun island focus on um, giving the reader hope for a better tomorrow uh, now um, now we will see a tale of a different and resilience in amita ghosh gun island so gun island undertakes an exploration voyage into a 14th century with the legend story of the gun merchant while simultaneously being rooted in the um, in the socio political and uh, and uh, climatological crisis on contemporary time it uh, depicts that the uh, does the disadvantage inhabitant of the sundarban and many of the, and many other people uh, from different countries migrate uh, illegally uh, to italy uh, transcending a nation and uh, and continentally uh, boundaries in search of um, employment and opportunity it intend uh, to inv uh, to investigate how the refugees uh, from the various nation uh, linguistic and cultural background uh, portrays the novel under uh, uh, under discussion can be um okay, can be grouped in team of their shared uh, plight while uh, battling for life during a migra uh, migration like all pandemic covid-19 uh, strict people of the world uh, build a global so uh, society despite the multiplicity of differences now for learning outcome i would like to call jignesh panchastra please come on the screen Uh, thank you, Bhavyanga. Uh, so these uh, two incident uh, which uh, I had made uh, after reading this uh, novel. So first one is the snake uh, sting to Tipu. Uh, so what I have learned after reading this novel is that when the snake uh, stings to Tipu, at that time the Rafi has a kind of good heart. So he helps to Tipu to save the life. So the one thing that I learned uh, that if uh, may may have in uh, in this kind of trouble so we should have to help to any person rather than uh, seeing or making any kind of uh, videos because uh, first people always uh, make makes the serpents video so the video making is a trend uh, of the society's uh, people rather than saving that person's life uh, who are actually in uh, danger or trouble in situation and um, another, another one is uh, rafi has a good mobile phone to get a community get a communication so rafi is one of the interesting uh, character because when the rafi is a caretaker of the uh, temple at that time the din has a mindset that uh, rafi cannot use mobile phone because din is uh, judging to rafi uh, for wild kind of uh, life it means the pe uh, people of wild er area they cannot uh, use the technology so the concern is when the rafi takes his uh, phone out of uh, his pocket at that time the character of uh, din is suddenly shocked uh, because because of uh, his uh, mental uh, mentality but it's never to be a uh, true so what i have learned that uh, uh, never uh, judge uh, never ju judge uh, uh, people by his uh, face or accommodation 
uh, try to see the knowledge of that person rather than seeing their person's life. So this was my uh, uh, this was my side. Uh, so further, I would like to call uh, Lata. Please come on the uh, screen and give your learning out. Yes, uh, thank you, Signet. Uh, I read one novel and I have learned many things. Uh, the first thing that I have learned is uh, be a good, uh, cultivate a habit of uh, taking notes and uh, be a good uh, note taker. So in the novel, we see uh, Dean is a compulsive note taker and a record keeper. So we have to cultivate our habit of uh, taking notes and keeping records. So whenever we want uh, some information, we can collect it from our writer. And uh, now we all have a mobile and uh, laptop. So we can uh, record the things easily. So the, the first thing that I have learned is uh, uh, from this novel is uh, be a good note taker. The second thing that I have learned is uh, uh, we can see this dialogue that uh, don't set yourself up to fail yet again. This dialogue was uh, spoken by Dean's therapist who uh, who gives suggestion to uh, to Dean that uh, don't set yourself uh, up to uh, fail yet again. Uh, this dialogue was uh, uh, um, used for Dean after uh, the death of Durga. Uh, Durga is beloved of uh, Dean and after this uh, death, uh, he become uh, very sensitive. So uh, his uh, therapist uh, gives uh, him this advice. But um, uh, I want to say that set yourself even if you know the reason. If you are failed, you can learn um, things. But uh, if you uh, if you even try, uh, so this is the big failure uh, for uh, everyone. So at least we have to try one. So another thing that I have learned from the novel is uh, when uh, PI is fighting against uh, refinery that uh, dumping uh, effluent into the river and uh, with the help of uh, the trust and uh, uh, alliance of air environmental groups, uh, she fights against, against this company and uh, do a case on uh, that uh, refinery. So, uh, while the conversation, Pia said that that uh, death threats are uh, scary, to be honest, but someone has to do the work. If we all uh, frightened from this uh, th uh, threat and these um, people uh, who are uh, politicians and uh, who wants to shut uh, our mouth, uh, so if uh, we all uh, afraid from this, then Who, uh, who, uh, who to affect the threat and uh, all this uh, uh, trauma? And uh, but uh, if we want to do a good thing, we ha we all have to face this uh, situation. So we be prepared mentally to face all these things. And uh, the way of looking at uh, outsider who are migrants uh, that has changed after uh, reading this novel. And um, this is my outcome, learning outcome. And now I want to ask you this question that uh, what do you think? Can literature save the planet? Yes, may I? Just a minute.
just a minute. Yes, Lata. Um, we cannot say that literature save the planet, but uh, yes, we can say uh, if we read the uh, right now, we are uh, um, listening the news about climate change and global warming and all that. So through that uh, and by studying this type of uh, works like Gone Island, we can understand the uh, problems, the current uh, contemporary problems, and through the reading, uh, we can understand. how to solve it and by reading that that this type of literature we can say that we can save the planet but not at all okay thanks daya and uh, this is our references and uh, Now I would like to uh, call sir for a concluding remarks. Okay, good. Uh, you all made a very good uh, presentation. All the topics were quite well uh, uh, included uh, in the entire presentation, uh, and so uh, good work was done uh, by entire team. Uh, to work on this text which is not an easy text to work it is difficult to get all the material also but you all have worked very well uh, how many of you read the original text me only sir it's only one no? the others uh, have not read so even out of out of curiosity the others uh, might have read some paragraphs i think you should have read uh, before you make uh, any uh, any presentation that how does it really happen uh, in the text also so but that was good at least one uh, from the entire group read the text and prepared a very good uh, presentation on, on this okay let me stop the recording uh,